everyone, it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and I've got another DIY video for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a shedding tool for your horse. I don't know if you have seen the little new shedding tools that they've come out with. I think one is called Shedding Ninja or something and then there's one I think it's called Shed Easy. Can't remember the names offhand. But they are really cool looking tools that make it look really easy to get your horse's winter coat shedded out. And I know it's a little bit early to be planning for my horse's shedding, but I'm really excited for them to start shedding. I wanted to see if I could make one of these myself. And I did. And it actually was really, really simple. These are my version of the Shed Easy or Shedding Blade. I made three different sizes. This was the first one I made and I like this because it's easy to grab the block and then the blade is out a little bit more on this one than it is on this one. And I made a smaller one for their legs because I thought it would be easier to use something literally I can hold in my hand versus something like this which is a little bit awkward. Not really though but I had the extra stuff so I thought I'd make them. And I'm going to show you how I made my little shedding blades right now. So these shedding blocks are super, super easy to make. And the secret ingredient that makes these things work is a hacksaw blade. Yep, that's what is the magic thing that makes this shedding blade incredible. And the really incredible thing is how easy it is to make one of these for yourself and how inexpensive. It cost me about a dollar to make one of these shedding blocks, so that's a good deal. So what you're gonna need is some one by one inch lumber. You will need some hacksaw blades. The hacksaw blades come in different lengths and different teeth. So the more teeth, like some of these teeth are 32 teeth per inch. They aren't going to be as sharp, I guess you would say, as the ones that are like 20 or 24 teeth per inch. I chose to use the 32 teeth per inch. It's really hard to say that. What you're gonna do is you are going to cut the hacksaw blade to the length you want it to be for your block of wood. So that's what I'm doing here, is I'm just figuring out where I want the hacksaw blade to go and how long I want it to be. Once you have figured out how long you want your blade to be, then you're going to secure the block of wood to a table, like I have on here, and then you're gonna use different saw blades right down the center, and you are going to saw out a groove. I used different size saws because I wasn't sure what was gonna work the best. And then every once in a while, I just put the hacksaw blade in to see how far it goes in. I want the blades to be extended because that is what is going to do the work of removing the hair from the horse's coat. Once you have that all done and you're happy with the depth of your channel for your saw blade, then you need to sand the piece of wood. And I used 80 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander and I rounded all of the corners and all of the edges of the wood. This makes it so it's easier for me to grab the wood when I'm using it as a shedding blade. Then after I had the sanding all done, I took some purple spray paint that I had in the garage and I spray painted the wooden part of my shedding blade um, purple because I like purple. You can use acrylic paint, you can use spray paint, you can leave it natural, you can stain it, whatever you want to do, just have fun. Like I said, I had this spray paint laying around in the garage, so I used it. The other ones that I made, the other purple one and the green one, I actually used acrylic metallic paints for that. And then I coated them with a couple of coats of Mod Podge to make them last longer. After your paint is dry on your shedding block blade, what you're gonna do is put in the hacksaw blade. So I used an adhesive type glue and I put it on both sides of the hacksaw blade. 
You wanna make sure you put it on the sides without teeth because you want the teeth to stick out. Once I did that, then I inserted the blade into my wooden block of wood that I made. I inserted it into the channel. And then I just smoothed out the glue and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes on Saturday. I'll see you guys again real soon.